Hi, I'm Derek B., editor of the Peru Tribune, back with you for another edition of our uh, ongoing video series, Tomorrow's News, on which we give you a preview of the next day's newspaper. On our Thursday, December 12th edition, uh, you can find our lead story about school security, uh, written by uh, Eric Stoff and myself. Um, Miami County Schools uh, recently got about $110,000 in uh, grant uh, match money from the Department of Homeland Security, so they're putting in $220,000 in upgrades. Uh, those are going to include uh, continuing to have school resource officers, um, installing a lot of new cameras, and uh, some other upgrades. Uh, North Miami actually today invited some uh, camera vendors uh, to their campus. Um, Kat, Superintendent Kathy Egolf actually said she hopes that uh, they will be able to read the license plates in the parking lot with the cameras, which they're uh, obviously making a significant investment in. Uh, McConaughey and Peru are both using bond funding actually to address security issues as well. Uh, Two million for McConaughey and eight million for Peru, um, which is going to uh, go to put in some uh, hold open alarms for their doors, uh, among other things, uh, in the next couple of years. Uh, that is also our display story in tomorrow's paper. Uh, a little bit further down A1, uh, Chad Abshire went last night, uh, as did I, to the uh, Miami County Chamber of Commerce's annual banquet. Uh, there were five awards given that night. Uh, Breakaway Bike Shop was named Business of the Year, and uh, Diane Skillen, Sharon Edwards, and the Miami Correctional Facility also won awards. Uh, personally, I presented the Tr Peru Tribune Citizen of the Year Award to Dennis Alexander. Um, Alexander was not able to make it, uh, so James Wright, who is a member of the Miami County Military Rights Unit, uh, came to accept the award and pass it on to Alexander, who is the volunteer coordinator of that unit. And obviously it was uh, really exciting for us to be able to honor somebody who's done so much for, uh, for veterans here in Miami County. I'm also on A1. Uh, Eric Stoff did a preview of uh, Friday night's Indiana University Kokomo Choir Concert. Um, they're going to come to the Peru High Auditorium at 7.30 with their Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree um, annual celebration. Uh, they performed that last week in Kokomo, and they actually decided to perform their first original concert in Miami County um, this weekend. Uh, the first half is going to be a uh, kind of retro cyber cafe environment, and the second half is a more traditional with uh, folks on choir, uh, folks of the choir uh, in robes and uh, on risers. So really exciting. I'm hoping to be there and uh, hope that I'll see a lot of you guys there as well. Uh, finally on A1, uh, Chad Abshire did a story about uh, Scott Ash, who is a Peru Traffic Department employee. Uh, he was uh, burned in an October 25, 25th accident. Um, there was a benefit for him actually recently that uh, was able to raise some money for his hospital bills. Now, Mayor Jim Walker said so the most important thing we can do for Ash right now is pray for him, so hopefully uh, a lot of you guys will be able to send those his way as well. Um, we'll have a couple other uh, briefs on A1, uh, police-related items. Uh, one of them is actually a great uh, incident that happened on Monday um, where uh, Miami County Sheriff's deputies responded to uh, Eagles Point where one man um, whom uh, was arrested on a charge of public in intoxication, among other things, uh, pointed a handgun at another man at his residence. Um, the victim actually took the gun and held the uh, held the perpetrator until the police arrived. So, a uh, rare happy ending to a story like that. Um, actually, today, uh, some breaking news. Uh, there was a two-vehicle, I'm sorry, one-vehicle crash that left two Peru residents injured. Uh, this was at Meridian and uh, 550 North. 39-year-old uh, Jason Smith and 23-year-old Kristen Mills were hurt after their vehicle flipped over. Uh, they were traveling north and uh, got caught on some snow. So hopefully we, uh, we hope that they recover. Um, Smith got, had some knee injuries, and Mills injured her neck and back. Um, Jeremy Kelly of the Indiana State Police actually said that they were both wearing seatbelts, which helped them greatly. So something to keep in mind, uh, as well as driving slowly um, as we get more uh, winter weather. On the sports page... Uh, we have coverage from Matt Wilson over in Marion of the uh, McConaughey girls basketball game against Oak Hill, which unfortunately was a rout for the Braves. Uh, they lost 81-19. to They moved to 0-7 under uh, Coach Wes Hull. Uh, Todd Law and the Golden Eagles improved to 6-1. Uh, Law said he was really impressed with the effort his team showed. Uh, they were going to play at Mississippi on Saturday. Um, Hull said uh, he was disappointed. Um, they'll have to try to rebound um, this weekend. I'm sorry, Thursday night uh, when they play Tri-Central. Uh, really great staff from that game. There were five Eagles in double features, double figures, rather. Uh, three McConaughey players tied for the team lead in scoring with three points. So uh, bleak times for the Braves. 
Um, elsewhere in the county, uh, Nick Roby covered a North Miami girls game against Triton. Uh, Triton has been very successful on the state level recently, um, so maybe not a big surprise they uh, were able to beat the Warriors 85-47. to They improved to 3-1. and one. Uh, The Warriors are now 0-3. And, and I'm sorry, that's a boys basketball game, not girls. Um, Coach uh, Clay Bolser of North Miami said he was pleased with uh, their offense after the first quarter. Uh, in that first qu quarter, however, they were uh, outscored 25-1. to uh, North Miami is back in action 7.30 Saturday at Pioneer. Uh, you can find all of those stories in Thursday's Print Peru Tribune. Uh, you can find them tonight, Wednesday, at perutribune.com. You can find them on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, you can also find me and our reporters uh, on Twitter. Uh, until tomorrow, that's tomorrow's news. I'm Derek B. Have a great Thursday.